Okay. Do you have anything to say? Uh, Tess just fangirled over a fangirl. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I am Safety Test, better known as Tess, and today we are doing something so exciting that I've been wanting to do for probably over two years. I collect vintage teen magazines. These magazines were created in the 60s, even early as 50s, just like they are today with the modern day Tiger Beat that shows off all of the stars that are having fun. Now, if you look back and think about the time period of these magazines, you have to realize that we didn't have Twitter and any social media or phones that we could carry around with each other. So these magazines were your main source of information for your favorite celebrity idol at the time. One of my favorite things that happens whenever I collect vintage items is that they are written on. I love when records are written on and these magazines, for instance, are written in. And this is what brought me to where I am today and what is happening today. Two years ago, I seeked out a woman that I found in one of these magazines that my father had given me. There's a section in a lot of these magazines, especially in the 60s, where you would write in to get like a poster and you'd send like 10 cents in the mail and they would send you back like a huge Beatles poster. And she used to write her name in on all the things that you would send in, but never send them in, which is totally understandable because you don't like want to send them in because you're young or you have to ask your parents for money. So this woman never ever sent them in so I had her like childhood address. So I looked her up on Facebook, not having any kind of hope because of the fact that technology doesn't really like span over generations because some people give up on technology at a certain point. And if she was like 16 in 1965 or 66, she's in her like 60s now and she may not want to be using Facebook. So anyways, I sent a message two years ago with my lovely friend Jazzy, you guys know her sending our first email to the Barbara we think is the Barbara in the Beatles magazines. So, here And nothing came of it. And then, like a month ago, this woman added me on Facebook. And I was like, wait a minute. She added me on Facebook. Did she like look at the message? Like what is happening? So I decided to copy and paste the message I had already sent and resend it. She responded and said, if you can confirm my childhood address, I think these are my magazines. And she was like, you sent this to me two years ago and I was pretty anxious about it and didn't understand it. And if you can confirm my childhood address, uh, I'd be more than happy to meet with you. And it turned out that these are her magazines. Barbara, I found Barbara the Beetle Maniac. Oh my God, I'm freaking out right now. Barbara just sent me a message and was like, yo, that's me. How did you find these magazines? Before we even started this video, I kind of told you a little bit about the journey of me finding Barbara. So I only found one Barbara McAllister. There's only one of you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this absolutely... And you say you didn't tell anyone. Is it exciting no, to you? I does it make you excited? Yes, of course it does. But I had no idea. Yeah. And m my big question is, how in the world did he get? How did my those magazines? I know that I loved. And I mean, I would read them constantly. Yeah. How did they get from my house, my parents' house, somewhere else, to Bussy's Flea Market? Hold on. I, so these and are I all the pages. And I recognize them. I re oh my gosh. So I don't know if someone was selling them and they wrote this, yeah. like you know. Oh, yeah. oh, let me let you guys know. So Barbara <gasps> told Asher. me oh my gosh, that we love Jane Asher. she has this trunk that you was in your parents' storage and they put yes. all of her Beatles and childhood stuff in here and she hasn't looked through it in like a million gajillion years. Oh They're my like gosh. Are tall. they full size? Yes. Yes. Right here. Where did you get them? 
Do you remember? Like, just have, could you buy them? them can magazines. you buy at the store though, too? Could you buy Beatles stuff at the store? I don't think so. I think I got these online. On, online. <laughs> no. Online. <laughs> on the magazine line. On the magazine line. But yeah. Oh my. Oh my gosh. I would put these up in my house. Like right now. Why aren't these on your wall? <laughs> she has a, a wall that's open right here. I'll help you get them up. I guess he's in. Oh, no, no, that's him right there. I don't know if he's coming out. I think he's. If he's either That's coming definitely out. Elvis. Those are definitely Elvis sideburns. Oh my gosh! Look at this. That's Elvis. He shook hands with somebody that was standing up here, and then he walked right by me, and I could, I didn't do it, but I could reach over and just, I could touch his head, but I didn't do it. <laughs> I, I don't got, know. I would have never thought. I honestly don't know. Did you call him Polly? We did. <laughs> Polly. Okay. Oh my gosh. Do you have a favorite beetle? Yes, I do. Um, uh oh. And that goes along kind of with the with the the girlfriends that I grew up with that we became Beatle fans together, uh -oh. and we literally played the Beatles. Like I was Ringo. <laughs> He's your favorite? He was my favorite. I've never met anyone whose favorite was Ringo! <laughs> oh yeah, Ringo! Yes! We had a John, we had a Paul, we had a George, I and I was Ringo. So did you like this? Did you oh like yes, oh yeah. That hair? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm minor between these two because my dad's favorite is John. Okay. And I think I like Paul a lot, but then I like George, so yeah, nobody knows. Yeah. Like Mark it. Lindsay. Did you like the Stones? No, I was not a Stones fan. Sorry. Guys! Uh, <laughs> Sorry about me that. Me and Barbara can't be friends now. <laughs> uh, no, just that's more Stones for me then. Yeah, I know. That, you know, and that's fine. Here it is. We, is this your brother? Unfortunately, when we... Probably. <laughs> probably. Because <laughs> he only did it to the Beatles. Yeah, it, yeah, because we, we bugged him to death about the Beatles. Did I, he I not to... like them? You know, he was two years younger than me. He was a boy. Oh, Beatles, what? You know? What's so good about, what's so great about the Beatles? Everything, brother. <laughs> Here's my other question. Did you mm -hmm. see the Beatles live? I have. You did? I have. Houston, Texas, 1965. Okay. Really? Yes. I think you understand. Ladies, hold it, hold it. Quiet, 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 quiet. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time in Houston, the Beatles! The Beatles! our parents you know we want to go, please 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 can we go and the tickets were very reasonable and of course our parents thank thank you mom and dad you know they, they all <laughs> thank <agreed>. you mom <laughs> and dad <laughs> they all agreed you know and, and all of my you know john george paul they and, all said and yes Ringo. And Ringo, they said yes yes you can go you can go so we wrote off for our tickets and I, of course we had to make sure we get we got it in early enough because it would have been sold out mm -hmm. so um you did send that off. You didn't send these off, but you sent off We sent that off, believe me. <laughs> I just remembered either that day or the next day, we're all like, we're going, we're going to Houston, we're going to Houston. High screaming. Oh, yes. We're like, ah! Yeah. Yeah. So my mother, bless her heart. That's she, what I say about mine all the she time, took, too. She took off work, because it was during the week. Right. She took off work. We got up early in the morning, and I mean, you know, Dressed got the nice. four girls going crazy, you know, in the car, and we drive to Houston, and, and you know, I kept asking my mom, well, mom, what are you going to do, you know, while we're at the concert, mm -hmm. what are you going to do? She said, don't worry about me, you know, I'll go get lunch or whatever, because mm -hmm. it, it, it was like a matinee show. Okay, yeah, I yeah. think the tour dates are in here. Actually, the date you <clears> did is probably in here. Of course, we were sitting like, woo! Really <laughs> far know, away? way up here. That didn't matter, it though. Was... How tiny were they? <laughs> <laughs> but we knew who they were. It doesn't matter. I mean, it could didn't... you hear anything? A lot of screaming. <laughs> right? But yeah, we could hear. Is it? Was there like an you energy? Know, 
There was yeah. everyone. Yeah. You know, um, probably. Here it is. Houston Coliseum, 19th of August, 65. There we go. You circled it. I did. You went. I went. <laughs> Does it, is there any standout memory from that day? Well, the one thing, that, the, the image that is still in my mind that hasn't been erased is watching them walk out. That's so weird. Oh and I get gosh. to take pictures and film. You didn't get to do that. No. You just got to That's, pee your pants. Yes. Yes. <laughs> You know, we got there, and it's like, okay, nobody, Did it smell like nobody, urine? nobody go to the bathroom. Nobody go to the bathroom. We were too afraid. We Do you remember it. any? But we just kind of, I mean, all through our high school, through senior year, uh, we just kind of stayed in our own little, our own little Group. clique. What this is? How do, it was, Look, it says Barbara McAllister. <laughs> Thank you, folks, for buying it. It was very handy. And there's another one out pretty soon, it says here. Hope you buy that, too. It'll be the usual rubbish, but it won't cost much. Oh, no, for enjoying the film. I'd like to thank you just for being fans. It's been a funny year, you know. One minute we're in England, next we're away. I suspect you're wondering where we've been. So, well... Yay! <laughs> what? It's the stuff. Yay! <laughs> I do love the Beatles as much as I love the Stones, but it's good to see them sometimes. This is funny because this is early because Christina Simpson is Mick's first girlfriend. So this girl is like, this is older. Okay, February the 9th? Or was <laughs> You're it really the digging 7th? up dates. I am. <laughs> Ed Sullivan. Okay, the, did the you watch first... it? Yes. Is that I when you found out about mother. the Beatles or did you already yes. know about them? I love your mom. Mom was pretty. I know. I'm learning pretty, that your mom and my mom could have hung out. Definitely. Mom was pretty groovy. I'll tell you that. <laughs> mom was groovy <laughs> because we sat there and we watched it. And um, even watching the first one, I remember. I just, to be honest with you, I thought these guys are weird. <laughs> <laughs> the long hair? No, no. These guys. But they they but told they you. grew on me, believe me, because then I watched the second Sunday, and then I watched the third Sunday, and then um, I was then you were sucked in, and I was because and then I got my first album because which you have? Do you have that? Is that yes? What I do. Go get it. The very first one. I'm gonna check. I'm it's, gonna go grab it. It's, it's the, the one. Meet the Beatles. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I got that because I was babysitting for. Shut your mouth. <laughs> I see that I that I, uh. I was I was babysitting um, a disc jockey's children, and he, I'm pretty sure. Oh, forgive me, Don Green, if you if you know if he you gave it to this, you. Or did you buy he it? gave it to me. Barbara has some fan fiction, is what they're called today. My subject, of course, was the Beatles and myself. So it's yeah, so it's called fan fiction today, and people still do it. Okay. And there's a lot of people who even get popularized for it, and there's been books published, but they change the names of the people. Really? And people write fan fiction about movies, music, anything. Well, I tell you what, there's one in here that I wrote because I wrote like three, and there's one really, really good, and I think, man, ooh, I wish I could get this published because I think it's really good. <laughs> okay. I would. All right, this is called Once a, a Once Upon a Time Story. Once upon a time, a few years ago, like in 1964, there were four young men from England. Now, these young men weren't four ordinary young men. Indeed not. These young men had special powers, powers that could make girls giggle, cry, <laughs> scream, wail, moan, groan, and even faint dead yes. away. The shock and aching sadness of watching them bowing, laughing, turning, waving, leaving. That's like profound. <laughs> Do you still love them? Oh, of course. <laughs> Definitely. Um, I. If you hear their music, does it take um, you back? Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. In fact, just the other day, somewhere, just the other day, just last week or a couple of weeks ago, oh, it was on TV. I don't know which channel, but A Hard Day's Night was on TV. Oh. And I just got in like the, it was on TV, and I just got in like the middle of it, and it was like, okay, all over again. You know, you I'm, to watch I'm, it all. I'm watching, you know, I'm seeing this, and, and, I this, like help this is how, <laughs> do you really know? The only I have reason. to say, A okay, Hard wait. Day's Night. I love Hard Day's Night. 
The only reason I don't like Hard Day's Day is because I really don't like the grandpa. Like, I think he's so mean. <laughs> he was terrible. <laughs> I like Hard Day's Night if we could just cut out all the parts where the grandfather was. I know. But I like Help because it's so funny. It's like, it was. It's like ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. And like there's some stuff in there that happens that I'm like, this is so, so funny. Like, yeah, yeah. But my favorite song is in Hard Day's Night. My favorite song is off of Hard Day's Night. Which one was I should have known better is my favorite uh-huh. song. Do you have a favorite song? Um... I'm asking you too I'm many questions. To think. In a row. No, that's fine. No, 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 no. <laughs> I should have known better with a girl like you. That I would love everything that you do. And I do. And I do. And I do. <laughs> There's one that George sang, and I can't think of the name. I'm of happy it. just to yes! dance with yes. you. Yes, I love that song. I do too. And I loved watching like my George. Favorite one. I love watching George and coming up. Kind of Oh, oh my gosh. Yes! Oh, bloody, oh, bloody, oh, bloody, oh, bloody, oh bloody, life goes on. on. We, um, the four of us, John, Paul, George, Ringo. Mm-hmm. Um, Your friends, not the real Beatles. <laughs> <laughs> my girlfriends growing up. We, oh my gosh, when that movie came out, we went to it together and, you know. Hard Day's Night. It was downtown. From the time that we saw that movie until school started, that whole two and a half, three weeks, oh gosh. we were the Beatles. We played, we we did that movie. We did every acted scene. It out. We acted it out. We ran, uh, we ran all over. The, you know the the scenes where they're outside Being running, chased. running yeah. all over the 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 field, and they're doing all the yes. crazy stuff. We went down where there, everybody parked in front, so mm. behind there were very few cars. Especially if it was a, su- a Sunday, because stores weren't open on Sundays. Back right, then. okay. And so we would go, and we would act out. We would just be, cr- we would act out the whole movie. Hard Day's Night, there's something magical about Hard Day's Night. Yeah. Because Help is corn- not like a follow-up, but it is the second film. Mm-hmm. So it's not necessarily as magical exactly. as what Hard Day's Night yeah. was when it came we out. Would say, we would say a lot of the quips mm-hmm. from, a hard, from Help. Help, because there was a lot of quips, you know, mm-hmm. a lot of cute sayings right help. yeah one uh, of my story. favorite uh things from help is actually like a blooper like that's not a blooper and it's whenever they're doing that they're like you know whenever they were doing the scenes on the beach like in mm-hmm, help mm-hmm. there's a part where paul is using a girl yes guitar, yes and he hits her boob yes 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 and he freaks out he's yes. like oh <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Me and my best friend yes. watched that over I know, and over. It's, and over. I know yeah, that look on his face. He's like, oh my gosh, <laughs> <laughs> I can just hit someone's boob. It's so funny. I know. I know. It's so good. And so, and why I love Hard Day Side, I do. I just like every time the grandpa's on, I'm like, you are so mean. And you're being mean to the Beatles. Like, I just want to punch him. I don't I know, like him. I know. I but know. I love, and help, I love the scene where um, John's bed is the one in the ground in their apartment. Yes. And he just walks in and falls yes. into it. It uh-huh. makes me laugh so yeah. hard because he's just like, dup, boom. So thank you so much for letting oh, me into your home. This has been so much fun. Like, thank you. Thank you for even offering to drive to my house. <laughs> Guys, Barbara said she'd come to my house, <laughs> but I wanted to come to yours. I think it'd be a little difficult to get right. This. Yeah, get this in the door. Um, but thank you so much. I like. I really oh, appreciate this it. This has been great. This thank like, you so I much. I feel like I've known you for years. I know, and I'm so glad I con- connected These with you. These silly little magazines. I, oh, I know. They're not silly. No. But um, they believe me, they meant a lot to a lot of girls. And now they mean a lot period. to me, though. Yeah, I love that's, them. That's awesome. I like to read them too, yeah. still. And I'm like, wow, this happened with the Beatles. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, until next time, guys, have a great day, a great night, and a great life. I'll see you very soon. Bye. Oh, darling. This is going to be the best day of my life. I'm going to meet Barbara McAllister, who I've fawned over for almost two and a half years. Barb, we're coming for you. He was Butch Cat. Uh, hey, Sunday. Robert. Yeah. Look how handsome. Yeah. Hey. Oh, my gosh. And I've seen him, too. you seen Tom Jones, too. <laughs> yeah. oh, I'm so jealous. Yep. It's not unusual to be loved by anyone. <laughs> We've been a fan of you longer than you have even known. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness.
Okay.